Yo guys, this is gonna be a quick video, quick video. Um, as you guys know, we still awaiting staff. Um, Kevin Steele, I'm hearing that Auburn is trying to come in and you know scoop him away from us. We just named him the defensive coordinator, so we'll see how that go. We're also um, waiting the verdict on um, DVD, you know, Demarcus Van Dyke. Um, apparently he wants an on the field role, you know, coaching role or whatever this that and the third i think he's right now being said to be a um a recruiting recruiter guy um an analyst kind of guy sort of off the field role so we still awaiting staff still awaiting staff now schedules has come out um i will be doing some um schedule early prediction way too early predictions um i'll do one for miami florida state um the Florida Gators, the Baby Lizards of Gainesville, and um, UCF. <laughs> yeah, I might do one for UCF too. You know, they making a big push to be the big four instead of, you know, just the big three. But yeah, start doing some, um, what you call it, some schedule breakdowns or whatever, see who's on, who we play, when we play them, what's our chances of beating them in this, that, and the third, and I'll do the same for you know, those other teams, Florida State, Florida, um, and UCF. I'll add UCF in there, give them a little bit of credit, you know, even though they don't really deserve none. But according to them, they the state champion <laughs> for 2021. So I guess we'll throw them in there for the hell of it, this, that, and the third. Um, Gus Malzahn is doing a pretty good job up there. So it is what it is, man. Um, recruiting class, recruiting class. So it's not quite done yet for Miami. Um, we are waiting on... Um, Josh Connolly Jr. to make his decision on where he's going to end up going to school. Um, that will be done in March, I think March 13th or um, 15th, somewhere around there. Do not quote me on that, but once he makes his decision, we'll see what Miami's class is um, fully made of. If he comes to Miami, then, you know, good. If he don't, then, you know, good luck to him. Um, yeah, finished 15th. Mario came down here. We was like 68th in the rankings, and then he finished with the um, top class in the state. You know, I think number three in the ACC, um, only behind Clemson, um, North Carolina. That's it. So North Carolina had a good class also. Um, all year, man, we trailed everybody, literally everybody. Um, Florida State, um, Florida and finish better than both of them. Um, <laughs> I've been in a couple of spaces also, in a couple of um, Twitter spaces, and I've been hearing about um, Sunbelt Billy, Sunbelt Billy. I, I did not create the name Sunbelt Billy. I heard it on Twitter space, but I will start using that because I think it's kind of hilarious, Sunbelt Billy. Um, I'm hearing that Sunbelt Billy has already started off on the wrong foot in the state of Florida, talking about, you know, not coming down the, the south area, you know, Miami-Dade and so forth. I think not coming past Palm Beach. So I think Sunbelt Billy is already writing a ticket on his own head that he might fail in recruiting when it comes to South Florida. If you if you telling people that you won't come down here, then I'm thinking that's going to rub a lot of these high schools, a lot of these um, coaches the wrong way. So we'll see how that turned out for Sunbelt Billy now. Mike Norvell, on the other hand, <laughs> it, it don't matter where he go in South Florida, he can't recruit shit. <laughs> he can't recruit shit. I think um, out of all three, well, we're gonna say four. We're gonna put, we're gonna give um, UCF the gratitude. We're gonna give them the the satisfa satisfaction. You know, they've been begging for it. So we're gonna look at all these schools and man, see what's the future looking like for the state of Florida. Now, I did see an um, a edit for um, Bobby Washington with the, for the Georgia Bulldogs. I guess they, you know, made an edit for him. He, I guess they offered him to be visited or something or whatever. But they made a, um, a edit, and they say, Dogs run Miami. I, I don't know how you guys feel about that. Do y'all believe that Georgia runs Miami when it comes to recruiting or whatever? Let me know how y'all feel about that. Or you think Georgia just trying to um, talk shit because they finally won a championship after 41 years, you know? It'll do that to you, you know? <laughs> You've been humble for 41 years and then you finally win and then, oh, now you got a lot to say. Why why, why Miami of all places? But anyways, man, 
like share subscribe like share subscribe guys as the news come out for these um coaches as the news come out for more recruiting and we'll start shifting the um the tone a little bit and start focusing on the 2023 class um how you guys feeling though how you guys feeling do you think mario is doing a phenomenal job um this that and the third how you guys feel about us you know not getting shamar steward stuff like that um let's have a conversation um super bowl coming up next week you know i'm, I'm out of the loop a little bit i i, I could have sworn it was it would have been um today which is sunday right now as i'm recording but it's the 13th not the um, 7th so Oh man, my Rams are in the Super Bowl. Unfortunately for my Miami Hurricanes, um, I don't think any Canes will be, um, you know, performing in the Super Bowl. So, you know, that's tough. It is what it is. Um, unfortunately and fortunate at the same time for me, my Rams are in the Super Bowl. Um, they got two guys on the team that are Florida State Seminoles. So, we win. That's good for me. But you know, the Florida State guys gonna talk they shit. Oh, Jalen Ramsey. Old Cam Akers, you know, they, they won Super Bowls when my Rams win because I do believe my Rams will win. Um, man, how you guys feeling, though? You think Mario's taking it, taking too long to name these um, offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator? Um, who is your candidate? Who who do you want to see get the offensive coordinator position? As you guys know, um, Ken Dorsey is no longer in the mix. He signed his deal with the NFL, you know, that was pretty much what we all thought. You know, he was waiting on the NFL and boom, got got his offensive coordinator position. So Ken Dorsey is out of the way. I see a lot of names been popping up. I see a lot of you guys been talking about, you know, other guys that's possibly candidates. I think um you could go ahead and um cross um Joe Burrow, Joe Brady. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say Joe Burrow. Joe Brady off the list. I think in the NFL is he's got some um some NFL interest, so we'll see how that develops, how it determines who the OC is. Um, Nami's right now in chill mode. Um, I think the basketball, um, you know, the hype that we had going on for the first in the ACC and thing, I think that kind of worn off a little bit. They they took a couple L's, um, recently back to back L's to be exact. Um, lost to Notre Dame and then last, um, yesterday lost to Virginia also. So I think the basketball team kind of took a step back, warmed down a little bit. So and it, um, the track team is putting up breaking records at the University of Miami. So I've been seeing those all over Twitter too. Congratulations to everybody that run track or any sports that you do at the University of Miami. It is what it is. But as of right now, guys, it's not too much going on, but we'll see soon, man. We'll see soon. Like I always tell you guys, patience is a virtue. Uh, Mario did say we should hear about, you know, these coaches pretty soon. We've been hearing a lot about strength and conditioning coaches and stuff like that, but not the ones that you guys are waiting on. Let's just be honest. So anything pop up, as you guys know, I do come and tell you I don't hold nothing back. It is what it is. As I know it, you know it. Like, share, subscribe. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers, guys. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers. If you know a Miami Hurricane fan, tell them to come subscribe to the channel. Share the channel with them. If you know a college football fan in general, I mean a Florida State fan, Florida Gator fan, UCF, Georgia, you name it, any team, Alabama, we talk trash. Um, and also, if you know a Texas A&M fan, link them to this channel. Share this channel with them. Because I will be talking a lot of trash leading up to that Texas A&M game. Anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe, T2I, I'm out. Oh.